Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is another normal ass normal game sent in by you, the fans, to life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. Mr. Maximus Black. Yup. Hit me up with the sound of somebody fucking with you while you're trying to deliver a newscast. Oh, you switched this shit up. Well, I figured uh, that'd be easier for you. Okay, say it again. What, what is it? Hit me up with the sound of somebody fucking with you while you're trying to deliver the news. Oh, it's still uh, Bruce Almighty. Yes, yes. Uh, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. I think that's still off Bruce Almighty, right? <laughs> Isn't it? I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm thinking of the scene. I'm thinking of the scene where where Bruce is fucking with uh, what's oh, his he's face? Like, oh, Steve oh, 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 no! Like, I fucked it up. I'm redoing the fucking. Shit, I'm trying to get you to stop. Very perfect. Okay, perfect. For, for those who don't know, <laughs> all right. For those who don't know, all right. I have so many fucking like buttons uploaded on OBS that when I played the new one, it crashed the damn OBS, and we were three minutes into the cast, so we had to redo it. So that's the reason why. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, go for yeah, it. Yeah, that's where we're. That's where we're at. The light, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we had the two two knocks at that noise, and we still somehow managed to find a way to fuck it up twice. <laughs> that's okay. Down down here in the bottom left, with a new with a new icon. By the way, it was an anime face last time. It now was. it looks like. What the fuck is going on there? I don't know. Don't know. I anyway. have no idea how that happened. Either way, uh, we've got Vampire Mummy, the blue Zerg. In the top right, we have Sam Almighty, the red Protoss. That's super weird. That is the weird. The other time, it was literally an anime, an anime. fucking yeah. picture. And now it's... Is that... That's not... That's not in control. I, oh, wait, look. There's... There it is still there. Look. It's on the natural now. I don't what know. What is happening? Couldn't tell you, but I do know what is happening right now. Uh... I need everybody to head on over to nordvpn.com slash OTT if you don't have a VPN service and you're looking for one. It's a great way to support what we do. We only got one sponsor, guys. We don't really want to have to go out there and get more and bombard you guys with a bunch of ads. So head on over there and support the one we got. Link is in the description below. Use the promo code OTT. Get a massive discount plus a bonus month when you get a two-year subscription. Stay safe and anonymous out there. And big shout out to all of the ones out there showing love on the Patreon patreon.com slash lag tv you guys have been showing up in waves man we're almost at 300 patrons we're getting closer and closer to reviving nova war says thanks to you guys we do appreciate the direct support and one last thing do all of the things all of them right now obs don't crash don't do it to us you can't do it i believe we're still we're still good at it. Are we safe? We're safe. Are we safe? Okay. We did it. All, right, we're safe. All the plugs are out Fantastic. the way. Fantastic. It's time to get into we it. We made it. Uh -huh. We made it. Well, there's still not a lot to talk about because well, it's a normal ass normal game, and uh, these gents are doing very normal ass yep. normal openings. Three base zerg, two base toss. Yep. Nothing super saucy. Shield battery in production with the cannons to secure the expansion. Nothing particularly crazy. So I'm going to take the time to ask a question here. Uh, let me see. I had one picked out now, and now it's gone. Where did that go? Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, oh, let's go with this one. PP Insider. <laughs> What's your current favorite song? Uh, my current favorite song. Oh man. Well, I don't have a current song because I don't listen to current music. But I do find myself listening to um. Um, uh, you know that song girl let's talk for a minute girl yeah, i want yeah. to know your name that song i've been listening to that shit every fucking day so that's mm. my current favorite song it's old school it's like from the it's like from the 80s uh, it's a good song. Yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been out for a very long time. Mm. Uh, I don't listen to, I don't get a chance to listen to a lot of music that's not just on the fucking radio when I'm taking M to and from work. Uh, but I will say that the one that gets caught in my head, uh, when it does come on the radio is that, is that song called, I think it's called, what's the name of it? Is it, I think it's called Escapism. 
Okay, never heard of it. Um, it's the one. It's it's you. You probably heard it. It's the one. Um, it's the one where the girl's talking about uh, 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 doctor, doctor, anything, please, doctor, doctor, have mercy on me, take this pain away. Uh, you know, she wants to. It's basically like a whole story about her being at a bar trying to take a dude home mm. and like not wanting to repeat what she did last night. Mm. Uh, they're like da na 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 na. Anyway, <laughs> I've never it's heard on the radio it. like fucking constantly. Okay. Probably, well, it's because you don't listen to the radio. That's, that's right. That's probably the only reason. That's uh, that's why I'm hearing it and why you're not. Uh, anyway, it, yeah, that one's uh, caught in my head. Uh, it's it's uh, not a bad song, uh, but in it, general, yeah, I haven't listened, sat down, just listened to music nah, in a hot minute. Neither have I, bro. I'm so I'm so out of tune with with what the cool like. Unless somebody on stream like requests a newer song, I never listen to new music. I'm never when I'm in my car, bro. I'm not listening to radio. I'm listening to like podcasts, or I'm just listening to my car. Uh, you know what we're about to be listening to? These banelings bust all over these cannons which really won't do much because he's got two sentries to be able to put up a force field let's see if he can get it off in time there's one shit force field it doesn't really matter he soaks up uh what he kills two cannons that's it for all those banes like that's a pretty good trade uh loses absolutely no units in the process so sam almighty is looking mighty good at the moment does have this overlord here so it's not like he didn't have the vision the whole time to like see what was going on uh, and still decided to go in there. It was brazen. This is a platinum level game. I did update that in the top right. We do have that right. Uh, I do believe one of them is gold and one's plat. So I put plat up there. So, uh, you know, pretty mid attack. But he's doing a great job expanding. And he's doing a great job the creep at spread creep is spread. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Can't Pick complain a, about that creep spread. A little less maybe creep spread and a little bit more macroing would probably go a, a little bit more way uh, for him. So it's almost like uh, he watched the tutorial on YouTube and it was like, listen, if you're Zerg, you got to creep. This guy is putting tumors right next to each other. Like not even spreading that bitch out just all over the place, which, hey, you know what? I can Whoa. applaud the effort. We've got charge lots en route in the not too distant, as well as storms will be on the way once mm. the, once he's got that that Templar archive completed. We're gonna have another little skirmish here. That's a lot of banelings, but this is not a wall that I'd be like throwing a whole bunch of banelings into over and over again until you're really, really, really ready yeah. to go to work. Because right now, this is just throwing away resources. Like this yep. isn't gonna accomplish a hell of a lot. No. Nice force fields there actually to minimize the uh, the damage there. Loses one cannon and like a stalker. Yeah, uh, and that's pretty much the show. So that was a huge W for Sam Almighty and uh, Vampire Mommy is going to have to rethink uh, what they're going to do come the next attack. I mean, like macro wise, I mean, they're on to the fourth. They're not really utilizing the fort heavily yet. Uh, so it, it looks like the Zerg looks like they're uh, um, further ahead than they really aren't actually further ahead. They're pretty much neck and neck. They, the Zerg has a ton of resources, yeah. but just not using them. Because I don't he's... know why. I like just. It's it's all of the attention that they're given to to all this creep. It's just like they're just not macroing behind. Uh, and 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 what Sam did here was really nice. I'm not sure if he did it purposely, but it's a good learning experience for those that are uh, having banes come in like that. And you've got zealots, you've got uh, sentries, you've got uh, stalkers. Take one or two stalkers and have them soak the shit out of all that baneling damage. Even if you've got a like my life for I or two of these bad boys. You're going to get rid of, like, no joke, 10 to 15 Banes off two Stalkers. What a good trade that is. You'd never want to have all your Zealots in the front eating up all of that Bane because that's going to be your your meat and potatoes. Uh, speaking of that, we got this uh, a big force coming out here. Lots of Banelings. They are not... Oh, he cancels them. Uh, rightfully so because he was about to lose everything. And I think this could just be an A move into death. I mean, he lost so many Banes. He's nothing. Uh, that was a lot. He's got absolutely nothing. And really, the, uh, again, just an unfortunate use. He knew that was there, too. So I, like, he guess the, I guess he thought that he was going to do more than it was. These are all Banes. They're not going to do much. <laughs> all right into a, a single solitary uh. Archon. Face tanked all that shit. Said, bring it on, bitch. I'm annoyed. And soaked all of it. I'm annoyed that this Archon doesn't get all of the kills. Like, you know, when a Baneling kind of splashes oh, onto it? Oh, right. It should get the yeah. kill for that as well. But it's just not the way it works. Yeah, that's not a bad point. Because technically, he's running defense for the team. He did oh, a yeah. job cleaning it up, but getting no recognition. 
mm. from the game for all of his efforts. Uh, but yeah, this is basically a continued A move at this point. Uh, the Zerg with so many resources. I mean, at this point, all you could do is like crank out a bunch of friggin' Zerglings, run like and run up and yeah. see if you can distract them. Because the Protoss isn't isn't gonna the Protoss isn't gonna base race with this army. No. So like maybe you'd annoy him slightly and have a chance, but in oh. reality you just sat on minerals for way too long. There you go. Yeah, I mean Well that was thrilling! Yeah, I mean it was kind of a lackluster game overall, but hey, you know, it's a normal ass normal game. It's a platinum normal ass normal game. Uh we had some you know, we had some good efforts here from Reserve trying to do his thing. Uh, and Protoss really didn't do much but throw down like two force fields and and then just countered and and Win. won the game. Yeah. That's Yeah, I think I that. think the Zerg was actually in a really good spot if it, if not for the fact that they just didn't make use of all this macro. They had all yeah. these hatcheries, they had all these resources, just weren't spending any of them. Just hell bent on building a million uh banelings. And, uh, and and really, unfortunately, for a time there, there was a, a really long period where they both had a maximum uh, of like 85 to 88 supply was their max. And Protoss kept building up his, his supply cap and Zerg was just stuck at 88 for uh, like uh, what felt like an age. And it was just nothing but Zerglings and Banelings, but had all of these resources the whole game. And so I think, you know, for Vampire Mummy, mm. all, you know, in the future, you just you could literally could have built anything yep and it probably would have solidified the game like yeah. I just if you just spend you so much so many bases yeah that if you just built and just a moved in the general direction of the protoss's third and kept them to two base you get a lot better of a chance but uh, nevertheless good stuff sam almighty solid force fields well played good unit comp good decision making to push out we've had games where they don't push out and they lose even when they've won mm -hmm. so i'll give you props for that too Shabalala, 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 shabalala. Oh my God. <laughs>